Alrighty, let's continue our conversation on transformations with reflections. So, first things first, a reflection is a transformation that flips a figure over a line of reflection. So the reflection is going to change what's called the orientation of a figure, but it does not change really hardly anything else. Um, so this is a rigid motion because we could perform it with, you know, maybe a sheet of paper, um, cut it out, move it around. We can perform a flip and it doesn't change the size or shape of that, that piece of paper. Uh, so this is a rigid motion. Um, one thing about the notation that we're going to use, uh, this is big R notation or reflection notation. We can see that triangle ABC is R stands for reflect, reflected over line M. So you can see all those parts and pieces hanging out in that notation. The subscript is the line that you are flipping over. Okay, and what's in parentheses is what you are reflecting. Okay, so a little bit of a note. Capital R stands for reflection. The little M is the line that we're reflecting over. All right. Um, so some rules and some ideas. Let's start by trying to find the distance. Uh, A is from the x-axis. So looking over here, I see this distance is 2. And in fact, D is also 2 from the x-axis. B is this distance away from the x-axis. That's 6. And this is also 6. And C is 4 away. And F is 4 away. So we see that um, the... Um, it looks like the x values are the same. Like when you go from A to D, the x value stays the same. So I'm going to write that here too. x values remain the same. And the y values, we notice because they are like equally spaced out from the x-axis, um, the y-coordinate of A is 2, but it becomes negative when it's flipped over. So the y-values are um, equally distant from the x-axis. We see that as this relationship 2 and 2, 6 and 6. 4 and 4. And when this happens, they're actually opposite numbers. So a reflection over the x-axis of a point xy, the x value stays the same, but the y value flips and becomes negative. OK? So that's the rule when you reflect over the x-axis. You keep the x values the same, but you change the sign of the y values. We'll see that here um, in a second. So same scenario, but now we're going to flip ABC over the y-axis. And it's asking, what's the distance from the y-axis? Well, A is 1, 2, 3, 4 away, but D is 1, 2, 3, 4 away. C is 2 away. And its uh, image, F, is also 2 away. And B is 6 away. 6. So now instead of the X value staying the same, it's the Y values that stay the same. Okay? And we can have this whole equidistant uh, conversation here. Right, the x values, um, so example here, let's take a different approach. If I label these points, you see that the x values uh, flip sign, and the y values 
right here and here stay the same. So what does that mean for our, oops, our reflection over the y-axis of our point? That means that the y stays the same, but the x, we take the opposite. We, put in, we multiply it times negative. All right, so to summarize these rules, x-axis, you change the y value. y-axis, you change the x value. So, but I encourage you to, to map this out visually, right? We see that C and F, they have the same Y value, but it's the X values that are changed. Okay. So we'll use those rules later. Um, and then a little bit of a conversation. If we reflect over the line Y equals X, let's take a look at the coordinates of these six points. Um, let's first look at the pre-image. So negative 2, 2, negative 6, 5, and negative 3, 6. So I'm just plucking those off from the second quadrant, this, this triangle here. right? And now I'm going to look at D, E, F and, and write down what those coordinates are. So let me speed this up a little bit so you don't have to sit here and watch me count out. So what do you notice about the coordinates? How does A go to D? How does B go to E? Yeah. It looks like the X and Y values switch. So this is a very special reflection. Remember, the line that you're reflecting over goes in the subscript. This is the pre-image. It becomes Y comma X. Okay. If you want to know why, well, isn't the equation y equals x, doesn't that mean that x becomes y and y becomes x? That's what x equals y means. It means that whatever y was, x becomes that thing. Um, now, if we do the, um, if we reflect over this line, we do the exact same thing but we put a negative in front of it. Okay, the, the way I sometimes remember it is that y is sent to negative x, right? And if you look at it another way, um, negative y is from x, you know? So that is the reflection rule for that line, okay? So the y becomes negative x and the x becomes negative y. All right. So looking at these real quick, let's plot the line segment. And I want to plot the, the line that we're reflecting over, which is this line, which I probably want to dot. Really terrible. A little better. So this is A and B, and when I reflect over this line, um, I'm going to use my rule that x y. So I'm writing the coordinate rule here. Becomes this. So each of my points, I'm going to perform this, right? If x is 0, this becomes 0. And this becomes minus 2. Right? And if I have 4, 2, you just have to match them. Right? So if this is 4 here, this is 4 here. You see? And if y is 2, then this is minus 2. So we have to flip the two numbers. So like for this one, we, we flip the 0 and the 2, and then we put negative signs in front of all of them. And we did the same thing with this point. So this is the coordinate of A prime, and this is the coordinate of B prime. So I want to go ahead and plot that, and let's see kind of what happens. Um, sorry, negative 2, 0, negative 2, 
negative 4 a prime b prime and that is our reflected image um, of line segment ab so that's what it is so it's about knowing the rule um, especially for these two it's more difficult to do visually so anyhow um, I'm going to go ahead and draw the line that we're going to reflect over, which is this line. And I'm going to draw my coordinates as well. Oops. 3, 0. Like that. Okay. So how do you find V prime and W prime? Well, remember from this rule right here, all you have to do is flip the x and the y values. So now I'm going to plot those. And there I have um, w prime and v prime. Okay. The coordinate rule, well, we just have to copy it from the notes, right? We know that this, if y equals x, then the x needs to become y, and the y needs to become x. It's a flip, okay? So you may have remember uh, from algebra the inverse. You flip x and y. Um, that's what's going on here. Okay. So describe a reflection that results in triangle three. Well, if I take triangle one and I reflect it over line M, that equals triangle three. So I'm using the notation, but in Eng like written out in English, it would be reflect triangle one over line M to result in triangle three. So again, if I wanna do a reflection of something to get to triangle four, I'm gonna do reflect this triangle, right, over K. So it's it's an input output, it's a pre-image image idea. Okay, so reflect triangle two over K will get you four. All right. Um, this is a great question because it builds on the idea of how to do this, these reflections visually, um, which we're going to practice. So the distance between this to this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, and remember that a reflection is an equal distance away, like this has to be 3 and this has to be 3. Right, and up here, this should be the same distance as this. Because a reflection, um, you know, if you're standing in front of a mirror and um, you look into it, you know, the distance from your face to the mirror, it's, it's preserved, right? Um, so this is the line of reflection here along y equals negative 2 because that means that um, they're an equal distance, point A and A prime, they're an equal distance from the line of reflection. Uh, so what I'm gonna say is if I reflect over that middle line, and if I reflect AB, this is equal to A prime B prime. So reflect AB, over the line that's right in between them, and we'll get our uh, image. All right, a couple more here. So let's go ahead and plot this line segment. So this is V and W. 
And then it tells me that I am going to reflect over this line. So that line is y equals 3, which is a horizontal line. And I want to reflect over that. So when you're not doing the x or y axis, it's sometimes good to just um, have a plan, uh, like a different horizontal vertical line, maybe just count the distance from the dotted line. So if, for example, v prime is actually going to be right on top because it's zero away from the line, whereas this one's three away. So I want to make sure I go up three for my new w prime. Does that make sense, right? So when you reflect over a line, the, the image and the pre-image, the before and after, are an equal distance away. So what are the coordinates? Well, v prime should be minus 1, 3, and w prime should be 4, 6. Okay, so I'd encourage you to draw a picture when you have to reflect over a general horizontal vertical line. Okay. So finally, let's plot these points. And then I want to draw my reflection line, which is x equals 1. And then I want to do some counting. So 1, 2, 1, 2. I know one of my points, d prime, is going to be 2 away. The, the y value stays the same. It's at 1. But the x value gets flipped over an equal distance. So the same thing is going to happen with c. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is the result. So this was 4 and 4. See how it's balanced over the reflection line. So it's kind of like translation. You're just counting boxes again. Um, where it's difficult is when you have a, a more diagonal line, which is one, the ones we practiced right here. Um, so make sure and go back in the video and rewatch re those steps if, if you'd like to see that again. Um, these ones are more so just about counting. So C prime looks like it's at 5, 2. And D prime is at uh, 3, 1. OK? So that's it. If you want to see the answers to these homework questions, please look on Schoology. Uh, other than that, that's 